Hi, so in this video I'm going to quickly overview how to access your Moodle site. There are two main ways to do it. One of them is to go to myu.umn.edu. myu.umn.edu. When you go there, you'll see your profile. SSW. Okay. This is probably the easiest way because it won't change semester by semester if you actually go to the main server address that actually has changed over time. We used to have moodle.umn.edu, it changed to moodle2.umn.edu, then to aws13.moodle.umn.edu, and uh, it might change in the future too because we have a backup system for Moodle sites. However, if you go to MyU, there'll be a link always there that takes you to the right Moodle site as long as the Moodle site has been created. So once you access your MyU portal, uh, you will have different tabs. In this case, the tab we're interested in is the one that says My Courses. So we'll click on My Courses. And then you'll have a whole list, automatically show a whole list of your active courses. If you have courses for next semester, they'll be on the tab that says Upcoming. If you have courses from the previous semester, they'll be on the Recent tab. It's important to remember that after about a year or so, courses that you taught a year ago are going to be archived, so they'll be in a different website. But courses that are more recent, they'll be in your recent tab. You'll have access to up to five years of your old courses in the archive for Moodle. So now when we go to active courses, you'll notice that you have a course name and then a Moodle link. So if we click on the Moodle link, will be taken to usually your whole profile page. You won't be taken directly into the course, but you'll be taken into the home page where you have all the courses for that semester. So this is your personalized home page. You can change some of the blocks here by customizing the home page. However, by default, you'll be able to see your courses if you just scroll down. And you also have a navigation bar to the side that include all the courses that you have access to. One of the things that is important here to remember is if a course, if a course looks grayed out, that means students cannot access that course. So a course needs to be blue for it to be accessible to students. Here are some of the courses that I have access to in Moodle 2.4. As an IT fellow, I have access to more than my own courses. You should only have access probably to the few courses that you either are helping with, are an, an instructor in, or that somebody added you as a student or as a designer or uh, another possible another type of user uh, so those are this is a quick overview of how to get to to your Moodle portal another way to get to your Moodle portal that is maybe more direct but it changes year to year is to access the server address itself this year it's ay13 academic year 13.moodle.umn.edu so that'll take you there directly however we recently rerouted the moodle.umn.edu site. So if you type moodle.umn.edu, you'll also get there. The reason we recommend people going to myu.umn.edu is that it'll avoid situations such as moodle2.umn.edu that takes you to the server we used last year for the Moodle 2.2 install. So we'll keep changing sometimes the URL based on the server and the what we're doing with that site, if it's the previous site, if it's the current site. However, the MyU portal will take you to the right site that you have to, or that you're planning on using for that particular course. We usually update Moodle every semester, every two semesters, it depends. But uh, major updates happen not randomly, but are well um, mentioned and people are made aware of it before it happens. So that's pretty much a basic overview of how to access your site. Um, all you'll need is an X500 and your password and just be able to type the URL, click on the right course, and there you are.